of grade 8 students, nagbabalik si Teacher Lee para tulungan ka na mas maintindihan ang mga lessons ninyo sa mathematics. Quarter 4, week 2 na tayo para sa mga grade 8 students and it's about applies theorem and prove triangle inequalities. Ang reference na ginamit ni Teacher V dito ay ang learner's packet from Region 4A, Calabar Zone. Kaya, share mo na to sa mga kaklase mo at mag-iwan ng like sa video na to. Pwede ka rin mag-iwan ng comment kung may mga suggestions ka pa at questions kay Teacher V. Alright, so sigula na natin. We will begin answering the learning task number one. So using the figure at the right, Complete the inequality statements. So remember, yung exterior angle inequality theorem natin. The measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either remote interior angle. So tandaan nyo yan, mas malaki palagi yung ating exterior angles o yung angle na nasa labas compared dito sa dalawang remote interior angles natin. Yung angle 1 and angle 2. So, the question, the measurement of angle 1 is less than, anong sagot natin? Okay. Ang answer natin is the measurement of angle 4. So, the measurement of angle 1 is less than or mas mababa sa measurement ng ating angle 4, ano exterior angle. While, yung measurement ng angle 4 or yung exterior angle natin is greater than. Measurement of angle 1 or measurement of angle 2. Para naman sa number 3, if the measurement of angle 1 is 55 and angle 2 is 70, so 55 to and then ito ay 70, then the measurement of angle 4, okay, measurement of angle 4 is greater than, greater than 70. Mas malaki yung 70 sa dalawa, so obviously, yung exterior angle natin should be greater than angle 2 or dun sa 70. And if the measure of angle 2 is 95 and the measure of angle 3 is 30, okay, then the measurement of angle 4 is, anong sagot? 125. It should be greater than 125. Pag pinag-add mo itong angle 2 and angle 3, 125. And number five, if the measurement of angle 1 is 55 and angle 3 is 25, so ito ay 55, then angle 3 is 25, then the measurement of angle 4 is greater than 80. So pinag-add lang natin yung angle 1 and angle 3 and it should be greater than the sum of these two angles natin. 55 plus 25 is 80. Ayan. Punta ngayon tayo sa learning task number 3. I-apply naman natin yung hinge theorem to solve for the possible value of x using the figure. So remember, nasa hinge theorem, the side opposite the greater angle is more than the side opposite the smaller angle. So meron tayong dalawang angles, yung angle 30 and angle 38. Tandaan na kapag mas malaki yung angle, mas malaki yung opposite side niya. So, mas malaking angle sa dalawa is 38. So, we can say na yung opposite side niya, which is 4, is greater than. So, mas malaki yung 4 dito sa 2x minus 8. Yung 2x minus 8, ito naman yung opposite side ng angle natin. Okay, yung angle 30, opposite side niya, katapat na side is 2x minus 8. So, ito ay mas mababa dito sa 4. Kaya we can say that 4 is greater than 2x minus 8. And then, isolve natin. Kunin natin yung x. So, minove lang natin itong negative 8 to the other side. Kaya naging positive na siya. 4 plus 8, that is 12. And meron na iwan na 2x sa kabilang side. And divide natin sa 2 pareho para makuha yung x. So, 12 divided by 2 is 6. And 2 divided by 2 is 1 or x na lang. So, we have 6 is greater than x. 6 is greater than x or we can say na yung x is less than 6. Okay, mas mababa ang x sa 6. Now, remember na this is all about measurement. And since x represents the length, 
then it must not be negative. So, kailangan walang negative. Kaya, yung 2x minus 8 natin, dapat it should be greater than 0. Kasi hindi nga po pwede yung negative sa measurement. So, gagawin natin, 2x minus 8 ay greater than 0. And then, solve natin sa x. So, move natin yung negative 8 to the other side. Magiging positive na siya. And then, divide natin both sides sa 2. 2, x divided by 2, x na lang. Then, 8 divided by 2, that is 4. So, x is greater than 4. Dito, yung x natin less than o mababa sa 6. Dito naman, yung x is greater than 4. So, okay, isulat na lang natin as 1 or pag ganito, we can say that x is less than 6 and greater than 4. Okay? x is less than 6 and greater than 4. Alright! Ayan. So, I hope na nakatulong ang video na to para mas mapadali yung pagkaintindi mo sa inyong mga lessons. Lagi niyong tandaan bago kayo magsasagot ng mga learning tasks, basahin niyo muna yung mga examples kasi minsan nandun lang din yung sagot or same pattern lang din yung gagawin niyo. Okay? Kita-kita tayo ulit sa susunod. Bye-bye muna sa ngayon.